What's up everybody, I'm the Mangus, you are awesome, and I'm here to tell you that running multiple ADCs does not work in Overprime. Yes, it was amazing in the final beta test, but OP is a very different game now. The gameplay I'm about to feature isn't particularly good, it's just 15 minutes of hard abusing a team that went with three ADCs, but A, it's been a while since I last uploaded any Overprime content, and B, I just want to illustrate that ADCs in Overprime are no longer the go-to for every lane. It's, uh, it's a quick match in an early access game, so of course, play whatever you think is fun, but don't assume you're going to stomp mid lane with a ranger. The graphic fidelity of this video isn't quite as good as it used to be because I have, I've, I've been having optimization issues since the last patch, and I lowered my settings to medium, so I don't, so don't take this as an example of how good the game can look. So, now let's get into it. Playing Howitzer today, and I like to have my Q on Quick Castle on Howitzer, and I'm didn't do it that time. As you can see, I don't play a lot of Howitzer. I'm not very experienced with him, so I just brick that rocket straight into the steps. His rocket has a huge hitbox, which is, I guess, nice for hitting people. However, it will hit anything in between um, much, much easier. So as you see, I'm hitting the minions. Now, uh, ADCs in the mid lane, they're not, it's not bad. Um, it's not just a free kill. It's not, it's not a free win. You do have to play a little um, you have to play well. You can't just, it's just not, because I am a mage and he is an ADC, I am definitely going to win. But if I use my long range poke and, um, just, you know, don't give him just free basic attacks on me, it's, it's going to go well for me. As you can see, I'm just able to hit him, like, no problem with this rocket and he can't do shit about it. Thing now coming in for a gank, and he had to have been having a hell of a good time in this game. Anytime I've played a, played jungle against a bunch of ADCs like this, you see a little bit of desync there. They really need to fix that shit. Threw a little hard for that kill. Ended up uh, taking a lot of damage. And Murdoch shows up. Murdoch is their juggler, by the way. Oh, uh, and he blinked for me. But is, is it going to be enough? No, because Fing is going to take him out, even though I missed that rocket. And we get away with a sliver of health. You have two main advantages as a caster over an ADC when it comes to lane presence. One, your clear is much faster than theirs, so you can shove their lane under tower quite easily. And two, uh, once they're under the lane, you can just poke the dog crap out of them and they can't do anything about it. Um, he's trying to be get a little aggressive on me. We're going to hit him with the rocket back up. Heal up a little bit. It's fine. Um, we're, we're not in the, that much danger. Unfortunately, we did use our Blake to get that kill early. But yeah, if you just clear the lane and then poke at him, there's absolutely nothing to worry about, even if you miss your poke sometimes. I, like I said, I'm not that great with Howitzer, so some of these mines aren't on point. You'll probably find some better Howitzer gameplay from a lot of other people. Um, I'm, I'm no Howitzer expert, but I, again, I'm against an ADC. I, there was no way I was going to lose with any mage that I had picked. I was going to play this entire full game out on the, on the video, but after I got in, started editing, started uh, doing, the, doing the voiceover and everything, it is gruesome to watch. It is not fun to watch. It is just straight up. Uh, like, uh, the, the poor guy, has he, he can't do anything, and it's not because he isn't good. It's just it's just the matchup. It's just a horrible, horrible matchup. And then they, they had that, that Murdoch jungle. It just doesn't work, guys. It just doesn't work. A better howitzer player would have placed uh, would have placed their minds a lot better than that. Um, I could have used it to bop him back into my ultimate. I could have used it to bop him forward right there instead of bopping him away. Uh, I'm still getting used to it. I might start playing a little more howitzer just to get used to that mind because I do think you could do some pretty cool shit with it. And now there's a steel showed up in the lane, but I'm level seven and I'm building uh, spirits teardrop because I thought I was going to be poking a lot more in this game, which is shoes I think is the better option for a first build on howitzer. Uh, just it's just more damage and you get a little bit of movement speed and such but uh yeah i ended up going spirits teardrop i had committed to it so why not finish it out but then i will start building uh witch's shoes right after that this poor dude is level four he's level four uh it, it, the reason is because murdoch has no freaking jungle clear and our fing mal invaded the dog shit out of him so he just wasn't able to farm at all ah uh, man 
<laughs> uh, it'll be over soon, guys. It'll be over soon. And, uh, and that's it. Uh, enemy team got no kills whatsoever the entire the entire match. I know that probably wasn't a f fun to watch, but uh, like I said, stop taking ADCs in every lane in Overprime. It does not work, even though we had we had an off lane Murdoch. <laughs> oh, look at our big was nine zero and four. Jesus, Mangoo.